Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys a few techniques for getting perfectly straight lines inside of GIMP. So we'll start off with the most basic way of creating straight lines. So first select either the pencil tool or the paintbrush tool, which we would normally use to draw whatever strokes we want. But in order to draw a perfectly straight line, you're going to have to left click once in order to put down a single point, and then hold shift, which will create what's effectively a line tool inside of GIMP. And you just choose the other point where you want that line to end. So if I kind of want to cross it through the center here, I go down to where I want the end point to be. I left click and that's it. So the same exact thing can be done with the pencil tool. It's really no different, except that the pencil tool is going to give you a harder edge, whereas the brush tool will be a little bit more blurred out for a smoother result. But what if we want to get even more precise with these lines we're drawing? We can set that up using guides. So to create a guide, I'm going to go to image guides, new guide by percent, and I'm going to make it vertical 50%, which will put it right in the center here, horizontally speaking. So now we have this guideline here. And what we can do is actually snap to the guideline. So if I go up to view, and make sure that snap to guides is checked, then we'll be able to create a line just by moving along this. So now that we have a guideline created, we can left click and drag down with our mouse or tool of choice. And as long as we don't stray too far from the center path, it will keep snapping to the center, giving us a perfectly straight line. So if I keep going all the way down here, that'll get us the result we're looking for. So we have a line going straight through the center. So one more technique you can use when you are creating a line and you want it to be perfectly straight and aligned across one axis is you left click to start your line and then you hold shift down. And what you might notice if you look at the bottom is it will give you an angle. But if you hit control, it's going to constrain that angle to 15 degree increments by default. So that means if I go over here to the right, it's going to be a zero degree line, which will make it perfectly straight going only along the x axis. But with those 15 degree increments, I can easily move it to something like 270 degrees, making it go straight down on the y axis. Or I can easily move it up here to do 90 degrees going straight up on the y axis. So by constraining the angle, it becomes easy once again, to create those straight lines you're looking for. But in this case, you can force them to go only along one axis, or you could go kind of in between if you're looking for some kind of angle, maybe you want it to be 15 degrees south of zero degrees, so 345 degree angle. Okay, now one other tool we can show off here is the paths tool, which can be used for creating straight lines because paths will create um, basically points and connect them with a line. So if I left click here, I can create my first path point and then I left click again and create a new path point. And with this very simple path, we can hit the stroke path button in order to take that and draw a line on it. So solid color 10 pixels that will use the foreground color selected over here, I can stroke it. And just like that, we've created a line. So of course, with the paths tool, you can get a bit more complicated. So you can create whole bunch of different points along the path and you can keep them all straight if you choose you can also left click and hold if you want those to be more of a curve uh, a bezier curve specifically and when you have a path that you like you can hit the stroke path button and get lines between them all at once so that's just a few techniques for creating straight lines inside of gimp i hope this helps a bunch of you guys out there who are trying to draw or create art with precision inside of gimp i've been chris thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my future gimp video content